Quantum Energy Information Series, recorded on October 7, 2017. Regarding the divide, a future domed civilization, and preparation. Oh, there's a bridge. I'm seeing a bridge in front of me, a footbridge. Yeah. It's timber, it's made of wooden, uh, wooden bits and rope. And it's over you know, rushing water. And it's going across into, what's well, like going into um, rock face or a, a mountain because mm. uh, it goes directly into sort of a dark a dark um, passageway so I'm still it's sort of black around the walls are black that's mm. what it is it looks like it just looks like a mountain rock on the outside but the the walls are black smooth and shiny Mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. and there are there are lights mm -hmm. somewhere I'm not sure it's got I, I can see where I'm going yeah the lights are down near the floor and, and what kind yeah. of floor is that yes it's it looks fairly smooth uh, with sparkly bits in it mm -hmm. just like um Glowing lights. It's 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 really um, uh, reminds me of something you'd see on Star Wars mm. in a movie. But it's and it's a very it's a stronghold. Yeah. They say it's a stronghold, it's and it's hidden from the mainstream of life. The people, it's only a few important people on earth today who know about this place. So it is on earth, this place? Yes, it is on earth. Mm -hmm. And so I've been drawn into this place, mm -hmm. um, permitted to be here, uh, almost sent to be here. Um, to identify some of the um, some of the changes that are happening, mm. uh, some of the um, there's divisions. Apparently, there's it's almost like the area on Earth, or Earth is an area that's being divided. Mm -hmm. What's it being divided into? Yes, it's because it's a sort of um, separation needed from the people who are causing problems and disruptions, yeah. uh, separating them from the ones who are giving the life force, giving the um, light and, and information yeah. to the other people who who understand that it's going to be going through a big time of shift. Earth is going to be changing tremendously and already there's been enough signs on Earth for people to know this, to recognise yeah. this. So the purpose of me coming into this area today is to come into the gathering of other people who do know this, who understand mm. the process required to exchange information mm -hmm. and to be given the plans that are needed for certain groups of individuals and people. Mm. Can you recognise any of the other people that are there with you? have been invited around you to be in this special place as well? I'm not sure. I've seen lots of people mm -hmm. and they all seem happy and 
energetic. And a little peaceful, loving people. Yes, I'm not sure. They feel familiar, but I, I don't really recognise anyone mm -hmm. that I know currently on Earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there is one person. Oh, that's interesting. There's one person who comes to me for healing sessions. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to get him to recognise what, what he is. He's there. So it's as if he's there in a higher level of consciousness. Mm. He wouldn't actually be there in person. Huh. I don't even know whether I'm actually there in person. <laughs> well, can you perceive yourself to have a body at the moment or not? If you look down, would you see your feet or...? Oh yes, yes. I'm, I'm wearing some sort of very soft leather. I don't know if it's leather, but mm. covering boots, they, and they come up to um, mid calf, mm -hmm. and they're silvery looking, mm. silvery sort of um, <coughs> silver look. Mm. And in fact, what I'm wearing, I'm, I'm a woman, I'm me, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm wearing like a, a feminine attire tunic mm -hmm. that comes down to just above the knee. <coughs> and again, it's very soft fabric and it's... Um, Uh, it's not grey, it's got colours in it, mm -hmm. but it's it's like more like an iridescent colour. Mm. Uh, clothes are... Does it seem mm. very futuristic like, in the yeah. future? Oh yes, it's it's from a different civilization and dimension. Right. Uh, and I'm there. Yeah, that's me wearing that. Mm -hmm. So, and yet I'm still on earth at the present time because it's all current. Mm. So um, it's like I'm taken into the space in another part of me. Mm. Even while I'm saying that, I'm aware of this body lying here talking to you. Mm. So this is the divide that happens? Is this the divide between the knowing and the unknowing? Yes. Yes. How far into the future have you gone? Is it in the, or is it another dimension? Can you get a sense I'm getting of that? To, I'm getting 200 years. 200. I'm getting 200 years in the future. Mm -hmm. And it's preparation now. Mm -hmm. And we're being given the information now for the current time okay. to send back to those beings who, who know, uh, who can prepare other people and bring them into consciousness, into conscious recognition mm -hmm. of of what is to be in the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we are involved in spreading, uh, it's like a network or a, a grid that connects into certain places on the planet now mm -hmm. and they're, it's, they're almost like antennas but they, they broadcast mm -hmm informational patterns in a sequence of a very high beyond our spectrum of hearing. Mm -hmm. Is it like telepathic? Or? Yes, in a sense. It's a communication on a, a higher level mm -hmm. and there are many people on earth who have the sensory perception to 
pick up the signals, mm -hmm. the uh, information coded in the signals. Right. So it must be made known. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about being there? How does it feel to be there, to be one of these? Uh, I, it feels wonderful. I feel wonderful about it. Mm -hmm. I feel as if I have known that I would go into the space for a long time mm -hmm. and I've been preparing for it for a long okay. time mm -hmm. and this part of me that's there this is what I recognize or it would label my light body mm -hmm. so the light body is a vehicle that's been prepared for a long time uh, to travel into this and other places mm -hmm. that are hidden from the sight of other people. Right. So you're within your light body now? Yes. Right? So in this space that is in existence, you know, it's ex existed hidden within this mountain for centuries. So it's within a mountain, time. is it? Yes, it's almost disguised as a mountain. Okay, like a pyramid shaped mountain type? Yes, a peak, that's right. It is like that. And it's been disguised, who's disguised it? Like We've We've come from a different place in the universe mm -hmm. of creation and we've watched over the earth and its involvement for a long time mm -hmm. and we've made sure that there's been the carriers of the information born into the earth mm -hmm. who would be receptive to the energy, mm -hmm. who would be drawn to it, who would awaken to it. Okay, well, so would that be who they would, some would recognise as the rainbow or the star seed children or the crystal children that are coming through now? Oh, you see the ones who will receive. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're the ones yes. you're watching over to spread this? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, even as we are talking about this, and bringing it into knowledge, the the ones who will be receiving it are sort of receiving it now. Mm -hmm. They would be knowing that something is happening, yeah, and that it's um, it's important, and um, they they are connected in a big network around the planet. Mm -hmm. Is it just around Earth, or is it? The whole universe is, is helping Earth come to this happening. The information is being fed from other planetary systems mm -hmm. and dimensions into the grid mm -hmm. to support and help mm -hmm. and help speed up the process. Okay. Simply because the uh, the way the Earth has been um, interfered with or developed it is leading to a major change. It's mm -hmm. got to be a shift and a change mm -hmm. in how it's been affected by the chemical overload and uh, warfare and all of that type of mm -hmm. toxicity. Right, so it's this disintegrating is the fabric of the earth. Right, so this is 200 years into the future from the present day. Yes, fair? but the connections are, are in happening in the present day. They're happening now. Yeah. How are they happening now? Like, what you mean with the humans on Earth now? Yes, the ones who are coming in, even though we we might talk about it as being several incarnations mm -hmm. away the information is carried through right. and there are many beings on earth now who are going to still exist right. 
in that time period. They're not going to simply die as the human body has been conditioned to die after a certain span. The time span of uh, many of the humans on Earth is, is being extended. So they will still be alive. Wonderful. Some of these um, younger people will still be alive mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of me being brought into this area is to awaken this in me as, as who I am on earth today and to strengthen my connections into this realm of information. Mm -hmm. The area that I go into and take other people into in my group gathering work uh, is part of this but this is an, uh, another part that hasn't been revealed yet this is all new to me perhaps physically and yet in this light body stage I know it very well mm -hmm. it's, it's like a commission so what is actually happening? What will the divide be? What's the plan there? What's happening? It will seem as if there are different layers of the civilization that will emerge and exist uh, and coexist. At the time there is a coexistence of these different layers of formation. Of the, some of these young ones who are aware of it already, they are hopping in between the current pattern on Earth and these newer ones mm -hmm. that is um, being formed. Yeah. So, um, as as the energy frequency increases there will be more of the population existing in this higher level of time frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are you actually doing there now? Like what, are, what do you all do when you all gather there and meet together? We're working on the sectors and areas to be strengthened and uh, more active areas being brought into play. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working out the way to contact the people who will be needing to know this, mm -hmm. who will have a greater influence to um, awaken other people, to touch the minds of other people, mm -hmm. to give them the information about all of this. Mm -hmm. in some way so that they will recognise um, what what is going to be happening and they will be brought on board with it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. We're being shown the, more of the plan of what will happen and we'll be um, giving the connections and the special information to some people. Mm -hmm. So there's whole groups of us mm -hmm. present here in this uh, energy structure. Mm. It's um, when I tune into it more, the beings here are re receiving information, but it's a different dimension. While it's present within the mountain. It's present in another dimension, way out beyond Earth. Mm -hmm. It's a different galaxy. So the same thing, the same people, the same everything is in another dimension as well? Yes, it's, it's, it's hard to describe in the way we view yeah. time and physicality. Mm. And it's like stepping into the centre of this, this energy structure puts me 
in the energy from this other universe. Yeah. And this energy, well now it's like that light body of me disappears and I'm just within energy. Mm -hmm. I'm just an energy. And this is the energy that um, is restoring. There's a pattern in this energy mm -hmm. that is uh, part of the human structure. Mm. Mm. What, what is it that, what kind of advice could you give the humans today that are in this light work to be able to step into that light as well, into that same kind of energy? Mm -hmm. that makes sense. And when you realise when they, everybody, when the ones part of this work mm -hmm. uh, realise that this energy is already here, it's just like opening a door into it in the, in the mind, in the conscious mind. Yeah. The conscious mind of everybody in the work knows about this, mm -hmm. knows that the connection to the universe is there to the knowledge and the plan and it's just a matter of connecting in, in such a way that you open the door to it. And yeah. it doesn't come through in words, it comes through in light. Mm -hmm. And the pattern of the light is what has to uh, be allowed to come through into the, the mind and the thoughts and the body. Mm -hmm. It washes away a lot of the, uh, the darkness that you accumulate as human beings coming in to the pattern on earth. Mm -hmm. And of, of course that was known, but it was the only way to get the light beings into the civilization and the many civilizations that have been on this planet. They had to go through the layers that created the planet until they came to the realisation that it was time to open the door to receive what is almost a core informational pattern and, and that's what the true life pattern on earth is about to clear away the darkness and in many cases for many people it's horror so that they realize there's this doorway they can open into the universe. Mm -hmm. Um, it may not explain it satisfactorily to you because we are talking about concepts and organic mechanics of, of the entire quantum of the universe mm. that is not known to the mind pattern. Yeah. Mm. But we are talking about allowing this light to come in through the open doorways of the, the light workers, the bringers in of the light. Yeah. And so this is able to be accessed by everybody. Mm -hmm. By this one speaking and by 
by you listening and receiving. Mm -hmm. It's a doorway in the conscious mind. Mm -hmm. It's existed there almost as a protective barrier, but the time is needed for that to be surpassed, to be seen only as a, a limit and to go through that to bring in the higher light and energy. Mm. Mm. Interesting. So can I ask what what the major shifts have been in the last 200 years um, for it to all be accumulated to this point, for it now to be happening? There was the introduction into the planetary system on the Earth plane mm -hmm. of very uh, very many devices. Mm -hmm. uh, there were energy devices that were uh, planted some within the Earth structure itself, underground, some on top, and some as energy systems that were uh, generally not physically visible to the human pattern of eyesight. Mm -hmm. um, now they are becoming visible as gateways and doorways to move into the higher state of energy, which is a civilization. Mm -hmm. And yes, so there was the presentation of these places, devices, and structures into the earth plate. Mm -hmm. mm. And who put them there? There are many groups, many um, beings from different dimensions and civilizations. So not humans from Earth, it was from... Well, no, but they were from the future mm -hmm. and from a future Earth who come back mm. to help the present time. Right. So the future consciousness, self-consciousness of some individuals mm -hmm. comes back into individuals now okay. and and this has happened over uh, many centuries to to bring in the energy and information to shift the planet mm -hmm. so the ones that are all there they've been born into the word knowing they, re they remember and they know what they're supposed to be there for there are various degrees of knowing, mm -hmm. and some have known they had work to do, some have known that the life pattern on earth had been disrupted and it was wrong in terms of the civilization that could have been, mm -hmm. and others came in and had been in, in a way, there was interference to try and block them from remembering. But that doesn't matter because those who are meant to be remembering and active will remember. Right. Mm -hmm. Where was the interference from, though? Some of it was um, caused by other beings who who do not want Earth to progress, mm. who do not want the Earth to be as it is. And so there was, and some of those beings had evolved on Earth. Mm -hmm. So there's the continuation of existence, you see, and there are layers of existence. And um, There are ones that do not directly want the earth beings 
to evolve and create a very powerful presence mm -hmm. as the earth because that enables an expansion of um, the universe as it continues to expand and exist with different degrees of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Earth could have been used to expand information and allow physical travel to deeper parts of existence. Some still being formed, but it was meant to be a place that people could evolve on and expand into a type of civilization where there was agreeable communication between everyone, between, where there was support of everybody mm -hmm. and just a level of creating harmony and beauty and patterns of the universe that would represent existence of beings who understand more of what a life of pure energy could be. Mm -hmm. So Earth had become uh, engrossed in matter. People on it became engrossed in matter. Yes. And it became destabilized in that way. At the present time, there are many beings who left Earth coming back. This is what we call um, the future self coming back to help the present right. to evolve. So, those who have passed over already are coming back and now? Some are. There are still some who have passed over who do not immediately evolve back to higher levels. And those are some of the ones who, who interfere. Yeah. They still held back in the, the consciousness of, of humanity that is greed and anger and destruction. Even when they've passed over, they still hold on to that. Some do. Right. Some do. Yeah, how come they do? And how, do, how come some do and some don't? It is just the degree of their involvement. Right. They're not prepared or not able to let go of the commitments mm -hmm. that were made on Earth. And that level, in many ways, has kept repeating itself. Mm -hmm. So usually those that um, reincarnate, they do come back into a higher level of consciousness? Some do, yes some do. Okay. And why some do, do those some do? Why do just some come back to evolve? Yeah. They Is that those who choose to, that want to come back? They do them? want to come back. Uh, and some recognise that they need to clear patterns mm -hmm. before they can evolve. Right. It is to do with with vows, mm -hmm. binding vows. Yes. So, so those who are uh, more aware have also come forward to help those people clear the vows, mm -hmm. to dissolve to dissolve the patterns. Are these vows that have been given on earth or, or on the other side? Well there are many existences mm -hmm. and some have been given from other existences not on earth, mm -hmm. on other planets, some vows. Some, um, some of the vows you see, evolve 
not because of just human civilization on earth. It is a desire to understand and experience many layers of creation. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a, a, a very vast dimension here. It, it is very complex. Yeah. So it might help you to understand, but we do want to also have you be aware that the overall purpose and presence of beings, of consciousness, is to be uplifting and clearing, mm -hmm. to sort out the problems mm -hmm. and to bring in the, the core essence of creation, which is the, the pureness. Mm -hmm. So this is part of of the presentation of the beings into this pattern to help them remember the plan and to give them the, the new areas to work in to establish the light cities and civilizations. So if we were going to move forward, if we can move forward some more from where you are there and all that into place and getting ready and learning about the divide and preparing for the divide, can we move forward to an important time and place, an important time and space? And now you are there. You can tell me what is happening now. Tell me what's happening. I feel as if I'm still on earth, I think, but I'm aware of a protective layer. It's almost like a, a clear layer around I thought it was all around the earth, but I think it's just around sections, huge areas of land and water, almost like protective domes, mm. at atmosphere, and the it's almost like there's a different colour in the in the air that you see. It's almost like seeing not a haze, but I'm aware that the energy is different. Mm. That's what it is, the energy is different. In what way? It seems to be that, that we've had to create areas to live in that are protected. From the outside environment? Yes. Right. They're big areas. Mm. Cities, huge, mm. huge areas. And, and it just seems to be still Earth. Yeah. But these areas, I, I feel around me, everybody is similar in intention. Okay. The intention is pure. Mm -hmm. So it's all pure intention. Yes, yeah, supportive. Mm -hmm. I feel as if there's been great healing done on earth mm -hmm. of uh, areas that have become contaminated or destroyed by fires. Uh, I'm talking about cities and uh, forested type areas. Mm -hmm. As if there'd been a lot of destruction, yeah. and and now it had been somehow areas have been healed, mm -hmm. and that's where they put the domes. Yes, to keep right. it separate. Mm -hmm. And what's inside the domes? This is where we are living mm -hmm. 
whole whole areas. Okay, so it's still got land and grass and trees. And yes, and yes, much has been regenerated, and that's interesting because it's been regenerated from within the earth, from underneath the earth, mm -hmm. as if they'd been um, contain devices or something that created that whole code of patterns, mm -hmm. a way to re-establish land. Mm -hmm. It was some technology mm -hmm. that uh, I don't understand about mm -hmm. that was used to create these areas. Yeah, so who did create this um, technology? Was it humans or was it...? Yes, these were... Uh, future humans, mm -hmm. humans, yeah. uh, but they were, we talk about humans, but there are different types of humans, mm -hmm. and they have different appearances, mm -hmm. but still we would call them humans, because a human always has arms and legs and eyes, and yeah. uh, it's very similar, mm -hmm. uh, but they exist in other galaxies. Right, but they and were born on this earth, they were born into this world, into this earth as well? Yes, some have been, and some have not. Some have mm -hmm. been watching over the earth mm -hmm. and come to the earth oh, to activate these devices that created mm -hmm. these energy healers right. to help us. So that it was a combination of both, both all planetary systems and yes. dimensions to help heal the earth and create these domes and that technology? Yes. Mm. So, the hum so the usual normal humans were able to accept that and they're accepting of that now Yes, hundreds of years later, and we're taking part in the whole, mm. whole pattern as well, the whole scheme mm. of it all. Yes. Whereas now they seem to want to cover up a lot of, of these things and don't want to know about it. Many do, but many yes. of the most powerful governments don't seem to want to work with. Correct. Them. That's correct. So is this about to change like now, like within the present day that we're in now in 2017, is that, how soon is that going to start changing and they start oh. working together with the others? Was there any history there? From yes, you know? I'm not able to determine that, mm -hmm. it's, but it's, it's happening already, there are mm -hmm areas who are working above, above the governments, I just sense it okay. as being above the governments, yeah. who are working in this, oh, I want to say humanistic way, because mm -hmm. the true humanistic way is the higher way. Yeah. Yes, it's a light, it's a higher way of light. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the true humanistic way. Yeah, so not the subhuman way. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's existing already, mm -hmm. and there are individuals in contact who know about that. But at this stage, they they are re restricted or not able to talk about it freely, mm -hmm. because even even now there is a distortion of the truth of what being brought forward yeah. and being presented as the truth mm -hmm. um, but even that is distorted mm -hmm. because um, people still are being shielded from the real way of existence and truth mm -hmm. so there's still a lot of that to be cleared away yeah because you see, there's still, there's still being 
coming forward that yes, sure, there's the government and, and level of cover up, um, and then but there's still the presentation that there is beings who will come to take over the earth, yeah, and that is designed by those ones who want to hold the population in fear and control mm -hmm. them. So that is not the truth. Mm -hmm. The higher humanistic truth is about the level of beings who communicate telepathically mm -hmm. and who, who have the original intention of creation of civilization of ongoing light and support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light and support to, to help Earth grow and help the universe grow. What, what's it all for? What's yes, if Earth, Earth has helped to grow and expand, it expands the universe. Mm -hmm. right. And what is the purpose for it? What is that greater plan of expanding the universe? It's an expression of the creative source energy intelligence uh, to express itself mm -hmm. and that's that's still only a part of it because it's uh, it's not able really to be comprehended we just move step by step with the bits that we can understand and work with mm -hmm. and what the particular purpose is for life in the present mm. existence and moment. Yeah. So is it all about, is it at the moment, is it about creation or God and the greater collective energy? It's always about that, of bringing that in, because that helps stabilise the uh, existences it helps uplift and it helps people understand that they are like beings. Mm -hmm. okay. So this far in the future where you've gone now, over 200 years ahead, everyone on earth do understand that? In the protected areas the they do. I, they, I feel there are still areas that some do not. So there's some living outside of those protected areas? Yes, it's as if they live in a different world. Mm. And what's that world like? Well, there? it continues pretty much as Earth is now. Right. They are the ones who don't want to know. Right. And accept. So that's where the divide was, is it? Yes. It's presented as a physical divide, mm -hmm. and yet the areas that are protected and domed are of a higher vibration. Okay. So the other ones who do not know do not even see these domed areas. Right. So they're invisible to them. Yeah, the two areas do not interact. So they're not even aware that they're there? True, they do not okay. know. But those yeah. in the dome are aware of the other side? Yes, they are aware of the other side, and they, um, they do not even need to understand, they understand them, but they do not need to try and lift them up, mm -hmm. because in time they're all on their own pathway yeah. to evolve. So will they is the plan that they will eventually all get like that on earth? They will eventually all have pure intentions on earth? That is the plan. I sense that um, it will just expand. The, the light areas will expand. Mm -hmm. yes. And so new, new, um, so those ones outside of the protected areas will incarnate back they can, they can do, they can continue to have the, that subhuman existence, mm -hmm. uh, but 
as the light expands, it catches more of those ones mm -hmm. in. They begin to understand. Mm -hmm. And in a sense, they can then be absorbed into the light city areas. Right. So it's a bit more complex than that, but that's yeah. a simple understanding. Right. So eventually, maybe they won't the whole planet Earth will be the dome area, will be full of pure intentions and light and love without the low vibrations. That is the intention. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you see that ever happening? Are we able to move forward and forward and forward some more into the future? If we drift and float some more forward and forward and forward and forward to another day, another important time and space where you may see a lot of peace and love around. Are you able to see that? I do see and sense that. Mm -hmm. Yet it seems to be linked again with an area that separates off, mm -hmm. or is, perhaps it's an existence somewhere else that the same pattern needs to happen. Okay. So mm, it is as if new areas get formed and it goes through the whole process again. Right, so within that area outside the dome, a whole new pattern of what's happened on earth happens there. New areas are created. New, yeah, new areas are created. It's always like a new, a new planet is formed mm. that goes through the same process. Um, a new planet like earth? Yes, and how earth was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how evolution begins. Right. The new planets come into existence. Mm -hmm. And then again, it, uh, it is needed to be inhabited. It's needed to be developed and evolved. Mm. And then would people from Earth help with that creation? Or would that be from mm, other planets? At that time, we'd probably be seen as the future higher evolved ones going back to help mm. the new evolution. It's multi-spheres. Mm. You know, when we talk about the future and yet it is existing already yeah. and uh, it's just the focus and intention and the vibration of the individuals or groups of individuals who who are able to vibrate with the areas that they can go into, even to observe. Mm. It becomes a, a, a big expansion and, and a lot to unfold. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. A lot of but it's all going done. according to plan. That is. Yeah. Yeah. The ones who know the plan are working with the plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you stay on Earth? Do you stay in this place for a longer time now? Does everyone there stay within this protected area, this beautiful place with pure intentions for hundreds of years? We stay as long as we are needed. Okay. In that state, you see, we can evolve. Mm -hmm. and evolve into a different um, the state where we would be free to progress to other areas. Mm -hmm. I feel I would be present in that, that domed civilization area for many turnings of the earth I cannot mm. measure it right. because time seems to have shifted and right. changed. So the, the way 
humans in there think of time is not the same as we do in this day. No, it changes. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're able to, they were able to evolve. Yes, and perhaps that's how we see an extended life pattern. Mm. Right. Yes. And within these domes, do they still carry on life? You still carry on life as you would here with family? And yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's families and generations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about the belief the systems there though, like with the church and the different religions, are they still within that space, within the dome? There seems to be a collective understanding okay. of uh, what creation is mm -hmm. and how everyone is uh, uh, an aspect of that creation. So it's not generally used as a means of um, congregation or mm -hmm. uh, beliefs or study or adoration. It, it's just a whole respectful knowingness of creation, mm -hmm. the source energy of everyone, and mm -hmm. honouring and acceptance of everyone and their own life path. Wonderful. It sounds like a beautiful place to be. It is. I hope to be there someday too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, is there anything else that you're aware of that you want to talk about while you're there? You can share. Oh, just to be aware that the, uh, the, the beings, there are many beings, aware of bringing in light and establishing the new civilization, mm -hmm. the um, uplifted type of intention, mm -hmm. awareness, mm -hmm. pure light. Okay. There's many involved. The more that it is spoken about, then it becomes a greater reality. Right. So if it's appropriate, can we move you forward and pull you forward to the last day of your life in that space? And can you tell me what happens there or how it is that you transition to your next stage of evolution? I, I think that it's almost like a metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. the, um, the body vehicle is, is laid down and uh, I see a, like a vortex of energy come down over the body and uh, it it lifts part of the body. It's still like a form. It's still a form, and I go in that other form, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's almost like I've transformed or transmuted the body because it was my time. I didn't need that body anymore. And it just, it sort of dissolves and there's nothing left. And I'm, I'm able to be free again mm -hmm. of um, having that particular body in that particular role. Mm -hmm. And I... Um, just go away into a place of light. Uh, I, I have a form. Mm -hmm. It's like a golden energy form. And I go into another space with other beings like that. Mm. So 
You know, it's been too long in between no. passing over until you go into the other. Oh, place. well, I think that this is where I pass over into to just reconnect back into the group. Your source. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you're in a golden form and then you reconnect with others in the same form? Yes. And this is where you go back to each time you pass over? Just the same place you go? Well, I have come back here many times, other times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it feel very familiar to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know, does that have any kind of name or anything like that? Or any kind of language and how you communicate together? In that form? I don't get a name. And we we seem to just merge into a oneness. Mm-hmm. One consciousness. Okay. And is this all over on to the spirit side? Are you on as a spirit now or are you on another planet? I seem to be just in a stage of suspension, just with these, in this level of, uh, well we're conscious Mm -hmm. of being individuals, but we're conscious of the oneness as well. Mm. And do you remember everything from the life that you just lived, (coughs) that time when you've just been down? I carry a um, a memory of some sort of it, of the experience of it, because that is um, shared with everyone mm-hmm. that I've reconnected with. Wow. And it's almost like it gets um, unrolled from me, mm-hmm. cleared from me. So then you can be clear again and free again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unrolled. Interesting. Um, so if you look back onto that life down on earth that you saw in the future there, um, was there any life lessons or any anything that you could have learned from that life? It's just like a being present to bring in the pattern of light. Right. It didn't seem to be interacting much with other other people in the sense of, of living, mm-hmm. and yet, and yet I had a body. Mm. I don't understand it. Mm. So you can sense the purpose, but not the purpose of you being there is to bring oh, light. Yes. Oh yes, yes, the purpose was yeah. very strong to yeah. observe and bring in the energy light mm. and to um, oh yeah, and to be amongst the people, to be there, mm-hmm. uh, but n- not really, but didn't really get much involvement with them. Mm-hmm. But I, I was with them. I was with the people. I was a person there. Yeah. 
So you still had emotions in, in that life, like the, the normal human emotions, but they'd been lifted. Mm, they, were, they were very good, they were very yeah. joyful yeah. times. Mm -hmm. Very joyful. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I was just presented there. I don't remember growing up there mm -hmm. as we do. Yeah. I just remember being there. Mm -hmm. And um, for a certain time or, or purpose, and then, then it was time for me to go. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else from that perspective that you want to mention now? Anything else before we move on? Mm. 